guys, it is Tristan with Nerd Ads News at the end, and I want to talk about a new lawsuit coming from Johnny Depp. Now, this one does not include Amber Heard, but it does include the same news media group. Now, back maybe in January or February, I covered a case um, when it came to his um, text messages being leaked. And people were saying, you know, this could have been by one of his friends or something like that. And I, I really, at the whole time, I was like, you know what? No, this had to have been a hack. Why would, you know, somebody put something out there that said he wanted to burn and decapitate and, you know, there was a lot worse than that when it came to Amber. What, how did they get these? And, you know, I kind of made the bold assumption that he was hacked. Well, let's fast forward to just yesterday and it looks like Johnny Depp is suing um, the UK tabloid The Sun for hacking into his phone. I mean... I'm really not surprised. I kind of figured this is what was going on and how they were able to access such information when it came to the defamation suit from before that, you know, has been post or uh, pushed back to July now. But um, it makes sense. And it's not the first time this kind of thing has been done. We've seen that done, um, I believe, with Meghan Markle and um, Jude Law. I know there are a few others. But these tabloids are so thirsty for a story that they have no problem going way too far. And by way too far, I mean, we're going to talk about, you know, a really dark time in Johnny Depp's life when his daughter was very, very sick. That they were still, still accessing his information. Yes, his information about his underage sick daughter. Now, if that's not, you know, sick all of itself, I don't understand how far. Now, we did just talk a story about the other day about a journalist trying to get to um, Brian McPherson and a couple other Robert Turner's information when it came to, um, you know, justice for Johnny Depp supporters. And, you know, this journalist, you know, basically went to family members and stuff like that way over the line. But, how much further can you go? Well, this is demonstrating just how much further they are willing to go. So he's actually, it's News Group Newspapers, which owns The Sun. And, um, you know, they did own News of the World. I actually have never heard of that one. But Depp is accusing the tabloids of multiple breaches of privacy and misuse of private information including the illegal interception of his voice messages and other unlawful data gathering. Now, unlawful data gathering gathering is done every single day, but it's usually done by corporations like, hmm, I, I, I'm going to say Google, even though they're probably going to just bury this video now that I said that. It's done all the time. Um, did anyone else see that just absolute insane Um meme thing that is going around Facebook. Now, I don't use Facebook and I have no use for it whatsoever, but basically they're taking, trying to um, see what is you know, acceptable for hate speech and memes and it's the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. Like, I was shocked. I'll put a, a video in the um, in the pinned comment of Memeology who does a good job Of basically, you know, showing everything that this is doing. And it's like, wow, are we really there? Are we really there? And that has nothing to do with this video. I apologize. So it says, in the letter, Depp explains that his team has conducted an extensive investigation into the matter and believes the actor's phone was hacked between the years of 1996 to 2010. Um, The investigation resulted in evidence that clearly points towards repeated and prolonged illegal intrusion into his private life. Now, okay, let's talk about this first. That's a lot of years. That's 14 years, right? So, when I was reading this originally, I'm like, how How did he have a phone for 14 years? The same phone? That's amazing. No, 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 no. They, they repeatedly went back and back 
no matter what and went into his stuff. I was I was so confused. I'm like, wait, I, I can't even make a phone last two years, let alone yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have shared that story. Of the many wrongful disclosures of his private life, Depp claims the tabloid stole information about his then young children and medical information. And this is where, I mean, obviously, any sort of personal intrusion is, you know, stepping on your civil rights and stuff like that. Okay, UK, I get it. It's a little bit different. But mm, it's illegal. That That is not negotiable. But... This is where it really, really crosses a line when you involve, you know, she's not underage now, Lily Rose Depp, but she was at the time of these intrusions. And by the way, Johnny Depp, you are going to have trouble with that girl. She is a beauty queen. During the time period, Depp claims the son revealed both of his girlfriend's pregnancies, talking about Vanessa, to the public first in 98 and again in 2002. He accuses the newspaper um, of using his uh, cover of his pals for explaining how they were able to gather sensitive information. And that's exactly the same cover they used when it came to the defamation case. So they're not even trying to really cover this up. They're just like, oh, you have bad friends. <laughs> Your bad friends told us all this stuff and gave us text messages and uh, pregnancy dates. And no, 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 no. People, people get wise to it. They're not dumb. These details were obviously intrusive and sensitive and included the stages of pregnancy. Our clients' movements and plans um, showing clear surveillance of him. That is it what like really you are okay let's take it a step further it gets worse i promise you it gets so much worse that explains the tabloid disclosed details of his then seven year old daughter's serious illness which landed her in the hospital the actor says the incident surrounding those specific articles left him feeling the most angered and violated. I cannot imagine. Seven years old. He's in the hospital with her for, I believe it was nine or ten days. Uh, We'll get there. It's next paragraph. But this is disgusting. Nothing, nothing, and I mean nothing, is worth, worth the information of children. Children are really, really what needs to be protective. And as a father, I can't imagine how he felt being unable to protect, you know, their private information. So it says, in the years since, Depp has opened up about his daughter, Lily Rose Depp's 2007 hospitalization for kidney failure and how it was one of the darkest moments of his life. Both Depp and then-girlfriend Vanessa Parody stayed by their daughter's bedside during the nine-day hospitalization in which Lily Rose was treated and made a successful recovery. Now, we know she is fine, obviously, today. She is killing it. She is beautiful, and she is, um, you know, interested in acting like her father. But, oh boy, some of these things this these people are willing to do are completely immoral and I don't understand I've said this in multiple videos where how we've gotten to this place as a society where these things are deemed okay he does say that this case isn't about money he's not worried about the money when it comes to you know whether he wins or loses I'm assuming he'll win if he's got if he's willing enough to put uh, the work in to file this suit he's got the evidence to back it up But it's about, it's not about the money. It's about principle. It's about showing these journalists or, you know, again, I use that term loosely, journalists, um, just exactly their place. And their place is not in people's personal phones, not in their personal lives. You know, okay, paparazzi, take a picture, move on. I actually have no problem with that. When you're in the public, that's kind of to be expected. But this is a whole new low on how far they are willing to take it. And I've actually never heard, now this is from UK, I've never heard, and correct me in the comment section below if I'm wrong, of a um, American-based tabloid, whether it's like US or Star, any of those, uh, there's so many, TMZ, 
um, going in, mm, and hacking people. I've never heard of that. This is the only news group I have ever heard of that. And you basically have heard of it multiple times at this point. So, I don't know. This is, this is headed to trial. This will be heading to trial. So that's, oh, poor guy. Three lawsuits. <laughs> Two against the sun. And one against Amber herself in Virginia. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this will go. He's going to have to have a smoking gun in order to prove it without a reasonable doubt. But then again, he may have that. So let me know what you guys think about this, of course. Let me know if you think he is, you know, at a win for another one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruscar, Ryan Decker, and Doc holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.